Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous session, we have successfully created the page that was taking the username as an input and we are able to redirect to another page slash username which is a post request which takes the post request and now here we have redirected back to the home page. Now what we need to do in, before redirecting, we need to take that input message, input username, whatever the in, uh, username that was entered in the text box. You need to take it and we need to save it in the file and then afterwards we need to redirect to the home page. So how can we do this one? So in, in Node.js, so everything will be a, so we, there is no request.body in the Node.js. For example, everything request, we are able to get something like URL request.url request.method request.headers like that. We, we can have a methods like that. So there is no request.body. So like this, we should not, we cannot have a request.body. So why because for example, let's say that let's go to the paint. I will try to tell you. So if you are having a client, okay, here a browser or a client browser. So now when he makes a request, so when he makes a request and he is sending the data. So right now we are sending only the text data. It is very simple data only. Now when he tries to send a file, so which we need to upload it in the server. So now the data will, will not be received at a time. Okay. The data will be received in a chunks of data. So like this in a chunks like this, it will be received to the server. So now here the client is sending the data. So it will be receiving as a chunks. So each time when we are receiving the input, so here we will be receiving a chunk of data, chunk of data. We cannot get all the requests at a time. Okay. It needs to wait so much of time. For example, if he is uh, uploading a large file, so in order to uh, download the complete file, so it requests a large lot of time. So that is the reason. So it will take each, it will, it will try to send a stream of data. So that means it's a chunk of data. It will try to send it. So we need to wait until the chunk of data is received. And after the chunk of data is received, so we need to convert it or we need to parse it according to the desired output and we can take the data and we can do it by using this one. We use, we'll be using a buffer, which will try to learn more about this concept. So when we got one data, so we'll keep it in a buffer. So these are all the things will be keep it in a buffer. And afterwards, we'll try to convert this buffer into a string and we can do it as a desired input. What is the input that the user is trying to send? So we can convert that buffer and we can use this run. So like this, actually the process will be in our Node.js. In the Express.js, so this content all we can do it in very easily, but we are doing in the raw logic, raw Node.js. So we'll try to, we try to learn about this one and the buffer concept and all those things we'll try to learn afterwards. So let's see how we can do it. So here I told you that. I told you that in the paint, so all the data will be received as a chunks of data, right? So let's try to clear it out. Don't save it. Yeah. So here the client is sending the data and here in this one, it will be received as a chunks of data. So like this chunk one, chunk two, chunk three, like this. Now we know that JavaScript is a Node.js is a event based. JavaScript is an event based. So whenever we receive a chunk of data, okay, it, it triggers an event. So whenever we, whenever we have completed this sending of this one, it triggers an another event. So now whenever we are trying to receive a chunk of data, so we are getting an event, we can, we can listen to this event and we can store the data in a variable and like this, we can store the data and whenever this end trigger is finished, is fired. So now we can convert this data to a string and we can use this one all. So we can make use of this events. So here it will be having something like on off data and here it will be triggering an event end. So JavaScript is completely is an event based thing. So in the browsers also we, we used to do it, do it in the Node.js also the same thing. So now here let's write. So when the request is sending on data, so it is trying to send a data. So we can have a callback function. So in this one, we will be getting a data here. Okay. So here, when the, when the chunk of data is received, so let's try to create a body as an array. And in this one, what I will try to do is body dot push of data. Okay. So I am pushing the data, each data I am pushing into the body. Now, when the request is end, so when, when the on of end, so when the chunks of data has completed finished means then this function will be triggered. So you can use this function. You can also use the arrow functions also, not a problem. So here I can use this arrow functions also. 
it's not a problem anything you can use it as this one is a node js there is no need to worry about the compatibility issues and all those things so now here i will write right request of end let's try to print the console.log of body okay we are getting the buffer data right so let's try to do it now here let's stop this one and click on the node js again and go into this page refresh it and i am writing here some data and click on the send if you go into this one if you try to see here this is an array of data and this one is a buffer okay this is a buffer data now what we need to do is this buffer we need to convert into a string so here we got the data entire data is we got it so here what i can do is constant so you can say that request body is equal to buffer you can use the buffer which is a global method which is available globally provided by the node.js buffer dot concat so i am using the concat method because of the array and i am concatting this body and i am converting it into the string okay i am converting it i am converting it into string so why i am converting it into string is we know that the request data which we are getting from the client is a string data so that is the reason i convert into string and here let's try to print console dot log request body so i am printing console dot log request body and here if you want you can also console dot log the actual body also so the buffered body and after converting it to the string the request body so restart this node js again and if you go into this one refresh it and here i am writing some data click on send so done if you go to here see this is the buffered data and this is the data that the user has written so we are able to see this data right so this is the user data now what i can do i can extract the message from that one how can i extract is so here constant username is equal to request body dot split of is equal to and i can take the first one so that is a array array we can get the first one so now what i can do so i want to save it in the file so in order to save it in the file we need to in import the module that is nothing but a file system so require of fs file system now here after receiving the data in this one only after receiving the data and here i can write fs dot write file sync so we also have an async also we'll see one by one and here we can write username dot txt file and afterwards here i can write the username so whatever the username we are getting we are able to write that's it so these all the things are finished and afterwards it can redirect this all the things so afterwards means so this one will happen after some time request body we need to use the request body here yeah so there is no need for us to wait up to here so it can redirect this one so back end it will it will uh, do whenever the data is received here if i go into this one and if i refresh this page i am using leela web dev okay i am clicking on the send so done successfully done now if you open this one here if you try to see so what has happened here so username okay we need to restart this one right so let's restart this one okay and here refresh it again and here i am using leela web dev and here if i click on send done if i go here so we are able to get a new file has been created username.txt in the same level and if you click here see whatever the data that the user has added in the input box we are able to write it in the we can we are able to parse it the data in the node js and we are able to write it in a file so this is how we can get the data we can parse the request body which we are getting it from the input box so this is how we will be doing hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you